It was a rare bit of good news for the corrupt political establishment when former Vice President Joe Biden formally made his entry into the 2020 presidential race and provided a respite from the socialists and lunatics who had hijacked the Democratic Party. Nothing could quite serve as a soothing balm to the creatures that are indigenous to the great D.C. Swamp than a career politician the likes of Creepy Joe, a backslapping ally who knows the way that the system really works and is well versed when it comes to greasing the right palms. From poor Biden? Cast your 2020 vote now there was an increasing amount of dread with Democrat machine politicians and the special interests that they are reliant on that the socialists were gaining the upper hand and a choice between a fanatic like Bernie Sanders and the hated President Trump was the worst case scenario for the swamp. Now that Biden is officially the man he is starting to rack up endorsements by the score including a good-sized chunk of the Democrat legislature in the critical swing state of Florida. 23 endorsements from the Florida legislature 64 Democrats, were gathered over the past month by state rep. Joseph Geller a Broward County Democrat and longtime Biden supporter https colon slash slash t.co slash q a j v q v f r q z Politico, at Politico May 3, 2019 According to Politico, Biden wins endorsement of Florida Democrats in early show of force. In an early show of force, more than a third of Florida's Democratic state legislators endorsed former Vice President Joe Biden in his bid for president. The endorsements from 23 of the legislature's 64 Democrats, were gathered over the past month by State Representative Joseph Geller, a Broward County Democrat and longtime Biden supporter. Geller said Biden has the best shot at bridging a growing divide between progressive Democrats and those representing the party's more moderate, traditional wing. It's a diverse list of supporters that without question shows his support here, Geller told Politico. Not only do I think he can win, but I think he can unite the factions of the Democratic Party. Geller began collecting endorsements in early April, weeks before Biden officially announced his candidacy on April 25, according to endorsement sheets reviewed by Politico. The state-level lawmakers joined former Florida U.S. Representative Patrick Murphy, who is also backing Biden's presidential bid. The former vice president entered a jam-packed Democratic field, but none of the candidates had won official endorsements from Florida lawmakers, where should we send your free Trump 2020 hat? And are your address here Biden's early lassoing of so many sunshine state high rollers sets up a confrontation between old guard Dems and the extremist base which instead of backing a candidate like Gwen Graham who is the daughter of former governor and U.S. Senator Bob Graham took a flyer on Bernie's guy Andrew Gillum and lost the election. For Gwen Graham, loss is a rejection of her family's centrist politics https colon slash slash t.co slash xmkpkpk.twitter.com slash oacom 0 ngv, Amy Hollyfield, at Amy underscore Hollyfield August 29th. 2018 The scandal-tinged mayor of Tallahassee preached the socialist gospel and nearly pulled it out leaving many machine Democrats to wonder how things may have been different had they fielded a candidate who didn't alienate big business and swing voters and scare the hell out of moderates. Gillum was also reliant on playing the race card and continued with his divisiveness after the votes were counted by insulting President Trump. What's embarrassing to democracy is not counting every vote, and you, of course, count every vote. https colon slash slash t dot co slash is for Bsimerg, Andrew Gillum, at Andrew Gillum November 9, 2018 Free Trump slash Melania commemorative coin. Get yours today old Foghorn Leghorn's early success in Florida will soon be put to the test with leftist billionaires like George Soros and the crazed impeachment obsessed weirdo Tom Sayer plowing money into the state to promote socialist causes that are championed by comrade Bernie. Both men invested heavily on Gillum and aren't simply going to close their checkbooks this time around so Florida may soon end up on the front lines of the party's civil war. 
One thing is for sure though and that is Sleepy Joe will likely also draw the support of Jeb Bush's Republican allies who would rather gargle with gasoline than support Trump and they understand very well that the money spigots will once again be producing under a Biden administration. You might like Let's Block Ads. Why?